All right, uh, 10 o'clock, we'll call the meeting of the Jefferson County Water Authority to order. Roll call, please. Greg Camp. Here. Matt Unrein. Present. Terry Thomas. Present. Kevin Dennis. Jim Caston. Present. Mark Johnson. Here. <laughs> okay, with that, uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, United States of, America, of America and to the Republic for which it stands, which stands one, one nation, indivisible, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Play track. <laughs> All right, uh, we have uh, minutes for approval from the uh, board meeting of April 21st and closed also from the meeting of April 21st. Make a motion, we approve the minutes. Of, you want them both together, Greg? That's fine. I'll motion to approve the minutes and the closed minutes of the meeting of April 21st, 2022, as presented. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Next item on the agenda is under old business. It is the uh, update, the progress report on the collector well. And I'm gonna go ahead and show, share the screen real quick, Jim. So don't freak out. Um, okay, bills first. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped right past it again. I did that last time, didn't yes, I? Yes, you did. Okay, item five on the agenda uh, is uh, approval of bills, uh, all their listed vendors and uh, 905-356-53. I'll make, make a motion. Mo I'll <laughs> we have a motion and a second. Roll call, please. Greg Camp. Yes. Matt Unrein. Yes. Terry Thomas. Yes. Kevin Dennis. Jim Caston. Yes, ma'am. Mark Johnson. Yes. Okay. Now. Now you can. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> someone's someone's going to be board president here before you know it. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Under old business, uh, the Collector Well Monthly Progress Report, Burns and Mac have been busy, and uh, I know uh, uh, probably the best part about it are some of the pictures. These are some older pictures uh, compared to the work. That's what they call the dead man. Um, you don't look very The well. work that they've done subsequent to that, they've actually sunk several of the uh, – uh, of the pieces of the caisson, the, the collector well, uh, where they push those into the ground. I know Jeff's had a chance to be down there and watch it. Uh, Katie just, Kern, who's been on site, has sent pictures as well. Are they big metal cylinders, sections of cylinder it's they pushed in? It's poured concrete. So they, they, they form up 12-foot-tall uh, sections of a giant piece of concrete cylinder uh, and then, and then the, uh, the area that, uh, let me show here on the pictures real quick, uh, the, uh, these uh, arms, these yellow arms that you see there, they take a, a piece of triangular steel and then set that on top of the cylinder. And then the yellow uh. arms there push it into the ground and then they harvest the dirt and the mud out from inside of that. So that's how they, they one layer at a time, that case on is eventually pushed all the way into the ground. That's 12 foot, 12 foot across. sections, 12 foot across. Yeah. It's, it's pretty fun to watch. We're all going to go down the hole later. Mark, you want to go with us? <laughs> I ain't got time. That's why I need a job. <laughs> I'll talk to that's you. That's right. Mark, yeah. you tell them, tell them, Mark, we, we got busy stuff to do. Um, any questions on the, on the collector? Well, no. Okay. All right. Then we'll move on. Item seven under new business is a welcome. Jeff Kranick is our new plant manager. Jeff, oh, uh, I don't know if you had anything you want to share or say, but, uh, that's my recollection. I started back in 2008 and I worked there until about 2015 when I went to the Missouri DNR. So I'm aware of how the treatment plant works and, and all that. Uh, the, the team up there is outstanding. You know, so far, you know, I'm only week two into this thing. But, uh, <laughs> everybody's made me feel really welcome. We have hit a few bumps in the road that's going to happen in any transition. Uh, we're able to handle everything and we'll press on. And uh, as far as Jamie, uh, you know, Jamie's been up there 15 years. He, he walked out the door with a lot of experience and everything. And uh, Sir, thank you. so it's dedicated to the Water Authority. 
and uh, I think we're all going to wish him well in his future endeavors. Yeah. But uh, the Water Authority still continues to be in good hands under my leadership. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Glad we're glad to have you, Jeff. Glad to have you. Uh, item eight on the agenda, uh, resolutions. It's resolution number 2022-40. It's to repeal and adopt the revised purchasing policy. Uh, would someone like to introduce said resolution? We don't have our cheat sheet, but I'll introduce the resolution for reading by title only. That's exactly Check. what you were supposed to wow. say. Uh, we'll need Check a, a second on that. Second. And a uh, roll call, please. <laughs> Well, well, I'm sorry. No, just a majority vote. So all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? If uh, hearing none, then would the clerk please read uh, the resolution by title only? A resolution of the Jefferson County War Authority of Festus, Missouri, accepting recommended changes to the purchasing policy, incorporating said purchasing policy as part of the resolution, repealing all resolutions or parts of resolutions in conflict here with an establishing an effective date. As you know, this is, uh, as discussed, um, Michelle uh, did send out also um, in her email when she sent this uh, policy, out, or I should say the agenda and the packet out, uh, that if we wanted to make any tweaks, but the, uh, the tiers uh, are in here as we have discussed um, uh, basically uh, everything for the last two or three months that we've covered with this. Uh, is unchanged unless somebody wanted some additional time to review or discuss. Craig, I might mention I did spend some time uh, going over this with the previous uh, manager. I, Jamie and I went over it uh, pretty thoroughly. Uh, I trust that uh, Jeff had an opportunity to look at it too. That'd be my only reason that I think we should pause just to make sure he's okay with it since it's the rules he's got to live by. Good. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I thought it looked fair. Jamie thought it was okay and was livable, and he was he was happy with the way it was worded. He believed that in case of emergency, he could still buy what he needed in order to keep the plant running, and but otherwise would could could function under it just fine. So, okay. Um, if uh, sounds like Jeff's good with it, uh, I didn't have any concerns. Obviously, it was as discussed. So, uh, if there's no additional discussion, we'd entertain a motion to adopt. Some of most. Motion. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Greg Camp. Yes. Matt Unrein. Yes. Terry Thomas. Yes. Jim Kasten. Yes, ma'am. Mark Johnson. Yes. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda are the uh, reports. Uh, we have the uh, report for um, the period ending 430, which is the trial balance, general ledger, revenue expenditure, expenditure report. Uh, those are all uh, in your packets. Um, additionally, uh, if anyone has any questions on that, not hearing any, um, Jeff, I don't know uh, if you want to give us a quick update. Uh, I know, um, uh, things have been semi-smooth and you had a chance to tell us here <laughs> just a few minutes ago, how things are going, anything you wanted to add? Uh, what, on some of the problems and stuff? uh what, whatever you'd like to share. Uh, certainly. Well, uh, it looks like we have some unfinished projects up there or projects in progress. And Michelle gave me a list, and I was thinking maybe this is kind of the items you guys might be interested in today. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a project to upgrade the chlorine analyzers and stuff like that up there. We've got the analyzers on site, so now we'll have to do installation and we'll have to get dirt in to program them. So that's an ongoing thing. Uh, some of the projects have been done, turbidity meters, they're all complete. Jamie really had a good good list of a lot of good upgrades up here. Uh, low lift pumps, uh, a lot of vendors have problems uh, getting materials and supplies these days. So mm. they're still on back order. The pump company says hopefully two to four weeks. They'll get that second low lift pump in and we'll get it installed. Uh, let's see. I've already talked to Durkin that there is going to be one project we're doing up there with the line to uh, convert over to our new SCADA system. Mm -hmm. When we do that, we will have to shut down the plant for at least one day. Mm -hmm. So I will definitely report in that yet with everybody when we do that. Okay. But uh, I'll be a lot better prepared for the next meeting. <laughs> you know, get a lot of information that, uh, once here, but I'll go back to say, oh, everybody's really helped me a lot up there, all the plant 
staff operators as far as uh, keeping me up in the loop of what's going on and all that. We're going to be good. Okay. All right. Going to be good. I like that. You know, Jeff, Jeff, I probably ought to uh, spend some time out with you a little bit. I know Mark and I spent a good bit, bit of time with Jamie on his last week going over a few things and I've got some notes written down, some passwords yeah. I need to pass along to you. And I've got that same sheet you've got, but I've got Jamie's notes on it about what the status of each of those projects and what's the next steps that I need to share with you as well. So uh, I, I should have done that your first week and I'm sorry, but uh, it's been a busy, it's been busy here. We're counting, like, like I said earlier, we're just counting our money. <laughs> yeah, everybody's been busy. Uh, yes, I, I would really like uh, for, you know, you and uh, any member of the board, I hope you guys do come up and visit the plant, see what the operators do and all that, see what we've got going on. Because it's a, a little bit different uh, operation up there than your than the standard like public works or oh, yeah. standard water supplies. You know, we're 24 hour hours. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so that's a little bit different. But I would really like for you guys to come up and see what's going on. We have a good uh, line of communication in the future mm -hmm. between the board and the plant. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good. Anything else for the rest of the board? Um, I think you brought up last meeting. Something for the guys for going. Yeah. Through. Did we do anything with that? For what? No. Like, well, about talking about giving the employees kind of a little bonus for the extra work and stuff that they've done between the time that Jamie left and Jeff came in. Mm -hmm. And we we're going to discuss it with Jeff, you know, so he could kind of figure out some, you know. I mean, then all of them guys stepped up big. Right. I, I think, Jeff, if you want to get, obviously, we'll need to, we'll look at the payroll sure. records. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you want to get with Michelle um, to review, and if you feel that's appropriate, make a recommendation to the board. Guys, I mean, they're, they're super about making sure everything's covered. You know, somebody gets sick. Even though the long hours are putting in, I don't know if it's up late. And, and they're dedicated to putting out water. Good. That's, uh, that I I would say yes, they definitely deserve extra, extra, extra consider. So why don't we have that for the next meeting? We'll make sure that's on there. So, okay. A stipend. Okay. And the other thing I got, how is your search for an operator going? Okay. And I've got, uh, I've been looking at the MBE and I've got that our 15 that applied and some of them have been ruled out. Got a list of about work that might be interested in interviewing. And that's one of the things I want to talk about today. Yeah. Uh, I've got to I've got to learn the process that the water authority uses for hiring. And once I do that now, <laughs> I'd love to be able to interview. Like next week we can get that operator online. Yeah, we've we've discussed that uh, we'd like to uh, at least myself, but uh, Obviously, Terry, Mark, Jim, anyone else more than welcome to be involved in a, in a panel uh, when we bring folks in uh, uh, to, to have a, a couple of sets of eyes uh, as part of the selection process. I mean, we do the standard backgrounds and everything else, uh, but I think being able to give Jeff uh, an extra couple of uh, sets of eyes to and, and, and mouths to ask questions uh, probably isn't a, a bad idea for us moving forward. Okay. Well, that's how we used to do it. Like when he was originally hired, it was a three panel board plant operator, but mm -hmm. we kind of did away with it because of nobody has time. Right. Right. I think, I think uh, initially we need to make some time for that. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Just okay. You yeah. You're I'm working hired. too. Well, no, you'll be transitioning to your new job with the city of Festus. So obviously yep. you'll be yep. a busy guy. Yep. Um, <laughs> don't make me come down there. It's going to be a nice promotion for you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll I, well, I'm, for you. I'm, I'm paying him a hundred grand. What is you guys matching that? What? Yeah. <laughs> hundred grand. Wow. That's, that's like city administrator money. What the heck? Yeah. It makes more than me. <laughs> so we will, we will circle back mm -hmm. uh, on the stipend for employees and, um, and Jeff, you and I, we can touch base. Uh, Matt, if you'd like to sit in guys, you're more than welcome to stick around. Um, uh, so that we can have a discussion about uh, um, some operational things moving forward. But uh, any other questions, comments, suggestions for the good, good. of the authority? If not, nope. then I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Second.
Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye, aye. Gentlemen, we are adjourned. Thank you, Jim.